back out to the Ford X to get more work done today. It's a lot cooler today. So I'll take advantage of this. Just, uh, getting so excited to get the rest of the deck white. I mean, this is what it's ending up like, and this is what it's starting out like. We've had this boat for seven and a half, eight years, and this is all we've ever seen. So to get a white is exciting. So now I'm going to prep all day today and hopefully prime and paint tomorrow. What did I end up doing? I took the specs of our new hatches, which are shipping to us right now, and I reshaped this opening here, and I raised the lip up fared it all out, used a West System epoxy and fairing compound. So this will be real close. Hopefully it fits exact, but I'll let you know. There's that through hole. I had a fitting right here, a deck fitting. I pulled that out, fared that, glass that, that's done. So we're looking pretty smooth up here. One more day of sanding and fairing and we'll be able to knock it out. Hatches are off, everything's taped up. I'm gonna paint the next segment, which is the foredeck here. We'll see how this goes. Should go nice and smooth. It's a perfect day. Got a little breeze. Temperature's about 70. Okay, let's have at it. Now that the front deck is white, it is start tackling this. About 350 square feet up here to do total. Um, you can see where I've started to fare. When I was fairing this, I just ran it wild over this a little bit. So this is the old deck, and here's the first skim coat of fairing. I do two skim coats of fairing. I'm subdividing uh, some of this out because it's just too much to do. In one job so here's i've skim coated the first coat over here i'll sand this out today and skim it one more time sand it out do the same thing on the other side and paint that way it only leaves about 250 square feet up here to do and i'll just keep nickel and diamond it out until it's done fire off so that's your working time just a minute or two so I'm doing it early in the morning increase my working time in the afternoon you get about 30 seconds of working time no fun even though it's starting to fire I'll still get a little bit left out of this painting today one more portion of the boat and you can see we're kind of working our way into the middle of the main cabin and it's looking nice for primer say hi teal hi teal hi teal so this is just primer we're doing now and uh after this then we'll go ahead and do our first coat of uh interlux right side 
the roll and tip method. And this is uh, looking sweet. Looks like a pie eating. Running a couple of errands in between our primer, so we're going to go get some fuel, propane, and then head over to Fisheries and grab another gallon of paint because we are ready for the next phase. So excited! It is <laughs> it's exciting. Like, it's amazing what paint does to make you feel like you're getting somewhere. Even though we know that all these projects is just kind of coming together, the paint kind of cements everything. I so know. What, uh, what's weird to me is you can sand and sand and sand and prep and fare for weeks, and it in ten minutes you throw some paint on and you it's feel like much better. Like we accomplished something. Yeah. Painting time. We went over to the fisheries and somehow someone has bought all of their white paint. So we are down to half a quart, and fingers crossed that. It'll be enough to do the first um, coat of paint. This is just kind of a quick first coat. We're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for a little treatment. Um, obviously, we're anxious to go, so we've come to the conclusion that if there's an area that we don't like once we're cruising, we can always go back and sand and refine it. But if we're waiting for, or if we just keep doing what we're doing, we're never gonna leave at this rate. So, sun's finally peeking out. We gotta move fast since the stuff likes to dry pretty quickly. Okay. Next thing is getting this upper deck handled. What I'm doing is just took the traveler off. I never liked how this looked anyway. It was too flat for the deck. I'm gonna put a riser on this thing. And I can see that there was damage in the deck as well. So. I'm going to chisel this all out, get it clean, sand it out, build it up, glass over it, and then blend it into the deck before I paint this whole area. Got a, about a two week stretch of nice weather, so I'll get a lot. I should get this whole thing done. So, back at it onto the decks. Then, skin coating the fairing compound, about two square feet at a time. One batch, about two square feet fires off pretty quick. My working time is about three minutes. Uh, let's see where we're at. You see I got quite a bit to do here. Let's take a look at this. I do one skim coat. Then I'll sand it and do another. The traveler's starting to take shape too. I've got it epoxied in place here. Next, I'll shape it this fairing compound. Now the epoxy is starting to fire off. I'll let it harden for one day. I'll shape it with fairing compound. Then I'll lay glass cloth. About three inches out, up, over, and three inches out. Then I'll fair that in. Be nice and strong. Oh. Oh. It's starting to strip some of the old stuff off the boat here. This hatch has been glued closed. We've never, since we've owned this boat, opened this hatch. <laughs> and we really need to. Underneath down here is the head. Yes, and it's Shell. leaks. There's tape, there's glue. The previous owners tried to silicone it. Obviously a problem. We have a new hatch going in. I need to prep the decks anyway, so we're going to try to get this thing at least open today. When I start prying, you start pulling up on that side. 
Okay, get your fingers right here. Uh, yeah, right. right here. There's a handle. Oh, okay. Try to get this side. There we go. Holy silicone. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Oh yeah, man. Never been open. Look at this thing. Look at this thing oozing out. Beautiful. And straight into the shower. nice day in Seattle. It is 73 degrees out, which is a nice day for Seattle. Here's why we're painting our decks white. Everybody always asks why we've got such a stark white. Well, here's why. On a 73 degree day, the deck on the white, 77 degrees. We go to a little bit lighter color here, the old deck, which is this cream color, 92.4. Now let's go to the darker color, which I haven't sanded out yet. 109. So the color of your deck really makes a difference. All that energy is just coming right through the top cabin and coming into the boat. So if we could keep the deck 30 degrees cooler, it's going to keep us more comfortable. Okay, so I'm prepping this next area for paint. There was a lot of damage on the deck here, and it was very uneven. So what I ended up doing is uh, layering glass cloth. And I'd layer a little bit, fair a little bit, layer a little bit, fair a little bit. And then after all that was all leveled out, I put one continuous sheet over it. Now I'm going to sand this out, fair it, and uh, prep for paint. Should have paint down on this whole portion in about two days. Got the hatches out. New hatches coming in. Still waiting for this hatch over here. It's in route to us, so I do not want to prep that until I get that hatch physically here. I've skim coated this whole section once, sanded it. Now I've skimmed it a second time. I'll sand it one more time. So let's come along. take a look at how the paint's looking right now. It's starting to get white. Real white. These three hatches and this window bank here is a pretty major project. I'm going to finish the painting to here before I do that. Okay. Good morning, Seattle. Let's get to work. So, starting to get all the hatches in. We've got 11 hatches to replace on this boat. Here's one right here. Let me show you how I'm doing it. I had to pull out the old hatches. And these hatches are 20 plus years old. So was, I'm not replacing them with the original manufacturer. It came from Europe somewhere. So I've got a Vetus replacement hatch that is slightly bigger in each of the cases um, so I have to recut. So you can see what I've done. I've laid out my cuts here. I'm going to cut this out and then I will sand and fair this out right here and blend the decks into here because the old hatches were they had a bigger flange so I don't want any of this roughness to show. Then I'll prep it all up and get this painted. Second coat and sanding everything with a 220 grit. I went through, there was a couple little imperfections. So I went through and uh, kind of filled a few of those up. Figure every time I put a coat of paint on, I'll just get a little more and more refined. So I'll go over the whole surface with 220. 
and then uh, wipe it down with 333 before I paint the next coat. So I'm just concentrating on this area right now because these windows are going in next, about 10 days from now, these windows will be in. This paint is cured for 10 days, so it's plenty hard to do a nice scuff sanding on it. That's where we're at. second and third coats of the deck now that we're 100% covered. So now I'm going through, now that the high gloss is on, I can see all the little imperfections. So I'm going back through, and I've got some divoting right through here. So I've filled that, and I can hand sand this out with 220. And I'm going through the whole deck this way, just finding any little Hawk mark, any little divot that, I don't, that I'm not happy with, and I'm fixing it before the second and third coats. So I'll put an extra coat right over this area, then put two more coats over, then one more coat of, of non-skid. So that's what I'm working on today, on just this area up here. So I'll go through this whole thing, hand sand it, prep it, and get ready for paint tomorrow. It'll take me about five to seven days to get another coat on this whole boat. 21st, 2017, Seattle. What are you seeing, Em? Uh, it's kind of cool. It's getting dark, isn't it? Yeah, oh, and it's, it's only so cold feeling. It's only 10:14. 10 in the morning, and it's going to be dark in a few minutes. And Five more minutes. And it's colder. Like the end. No, it is. Yes. No, it's the end. Of oh my gosh, the decks actually feel cold. Too. I know. It's, it's crazy. It's like dusk right now. Yeah, it's actually cold. I can't hardly even see it. I know, even it's almost the, gone. Not even with it's the almost over. On. Let me see if we can get this. The eclipse is over, so if you read the Interlux painting instructions, it says eclipse days are the best days to paint, so I'm going to paint today. Just kidding, but... Got everything. I sanded everything, hand sanded everything with a 220 grit. Got everything taped off. Everything's all set to go. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. If you liked it, then give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel. Tune in next week when my dad removes and installs our new salon hatches. It looks really good. See you then!